What's up guys, welcome back to the week of videos. Today's Monday, it's the first normal week that we've had with Tech Inform and the YouTube and everything for uh, a couple weeks now with the holidays. I hope everybody had a good break, enjoyed some time with the family, friends, lots of food, all the good stuff that us piggy Americans like to do. But now we're back to the work week. Today's the third and I had a request video about my vlogs. If you guys don't know, I've been making vlogs. I've mentioned it in a few different videos there. It's youtube.com slash jrsvlog. The link is down below and I'll try to put an annotation somewhere in the uh, immediate area. But I'm on day 22 now and ever since day 19, I've been having problems with audio sync. I've been using the Flip Ultra HD. It's a very popular camera from digital something, micro digital. Um, it's a good camera, lots of people use it. Shay Carl uses it, a lot of big vloggers use it. And uh, iMovie 11 has had problems with the audio sync. And it seems to be the longer the video is and the more clips there are, the worse it is. For example, day 19 was New Year's and that video was about 15 minutes, 15 and a half minutes long. Lots of footage in there. And halfway through the video, the audio had played so quickly, or there were pieces of it missing, that uh, it was gone. There was nothing left. And uh, let's say I'm talking about Christmas ornaments, and then there's a picture of the car or something in the driveway. Nothing makes sense. It, it's terrible. It's, I mean, it's unwatchable. Even if it's off by a second, you hear me say something, and then you see my lips move, or vice versa. Not good. So I attempted to do it in Camtasia Studio, which worked rather well, but it would take for a five minute video would take a good hour to two hours to export, whereas iMovie, it for five minutes, it would take seven to 10 minutes to export. Obviously Camtasia is not gonna cut it. I attempted to use Final Cut Pro, and I learned that that's far too advanced. I mean, it's very nice software, it's very advanced, but for something that you do every day that really does not need to be edited that heavily, such as a vlog, it's it's not even worth it. Plus, uh, I have to convert everything from MOVs to MP, from MP4s to MOVs which is also a pain. So I really wanted to use iMovie. I did some research online and it turns out the solution is very simple. Um, this is, we'll do um, vlog day 20, it was a short one. We'll just drag all of these clips here into our project bin. This is a test document. I've already exported and uploaded this one a couple days ago. So here everything is. We'll change that to all so we can see each clip as it is. And what we have to do to get that audio sync to work right is easy, but if you have a lot of clips, it's time consuming. Come over to your first clip, right hand click, detach audio. It's about halfway down. Your next clip, detach audio, detach audio, all the way through. Detach the audio tracks on everything. However, edit. Whatever editing you're gonna do, I would recommend you do that before you detach the audio clips because if I wanted to come in here now and cut this clip in half, I'll do split clip like you normally would and then it kind of screws up that audio track too. So then you have to come back and do a separate split clip for the audio. And that can be dangerous if you don't get it right, then it's gonna get off sync again, and, and that's just a pain. So I would recommend you do all your editing to the clip. For example, if I wanted to cut this one in half here, I'll just select that, delete it, and then I can detach my audio. So it's an easy solution. Um, as far as I know, there's no mass way of doing this. You can select both clips with your command key there right hand click, detach audio, but it still only detaches the audio on the one you physically clicked on. So um, it isn't quite as easy as just selecting everything and detaching the audio, but that does seem to work. Make sure you uh, edit it first, then detach, then export. Um, export time was not affected, and in that 20 some minute, I've had a 20 some minute video since then, I think it was day 21 or something, one of them was longer and it worked just fine. So hopefully that'll work for you. This has really only been a problem in iMovie 11. I tried it in 09, it worked perfectly. So I guess this up-to-date software, such as iOS 4 and the alarms not working, and now iMovie 11 not working with the Flip, um, I don't think that's in all cases, because there's so many people that use the Flip in iMovie 11, and there's lots of cases online, but you know, it's, it's not as big as it could be. So I never had this problem until iMovie 11, and now that I've gotten back into using it every day for two minutes to 20 minute videos, it, it just isn't working. But now that it is, now it is. So detach your audio, edit it first, detach it, export, upload. Thanks for watching the video, guys. That was pretty quick. I really hope that helped, or that helped finish uh, a lot of your concerns or questions, problems that you've been having with your uh, audio. That should have worked. Our website is techinform.us if you'd like to go over there and blog. It's a lot of fun, lots of updates and new stuff over there. And uh, get ready for a relaunch. We're having a, uh, a 2.0 relaunch in the next 
few months here quarter one of 2011. Happy New Year. I think this is the first video on the channel for this year. And by the way, it's video 200. I've been making videos every day, Monday through Friday, for uh, just about seven or eight, maybe even like 10 months now. So this is 200, many more to come. I was planning on doing something a little big for 200, but this is an iMovie. Thanks for watching. Twitter, twitter.com slash James R. Schultz. And then tomorrow night, as we are every Tuesdays, we'll be live from eight to nine p.m. Eastern Time on Ustream.tv slash user slash tech inform us. Thanks for watching the video, guys. Subscribe, comment, and I'll talk to you tomorrow.